What is up, you guys? YouTube here, 333. Like, subscribe, and share right now. Uh, check out the link in the description. Um, you know, this video is brought to you by redbubble.com forward slash people forward slash YouTube here. Today we're talking about living paycheck to paycheck. You know, 50% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. Like, including myself. If somebody went and stop that flow of income which for most people is usually like one flow of income then most Americans will have one less than a month or up to a month or mostly actually less than a month too to before they're kicked out or homeless unless they own the property then the lights will turn off stuff like other stuff like that basically not enough to pay for the next month of rent um you know that's where I'm here to talk to you guys about you know maybe trying to save more money uh, for one you know trying to be more frugal like you know most Americans are very uh, impulsive buyers you know when you go to the store, especially Walmart, like bigger stores, you know, there's more options and more stuff to buy, you know, more things to look at. Um, you know, it's easier to, when I used to work at Walmart, you know, and so when I used to work there, all my check, my whole entire check would always just go back to Walmart. Because while I'm working, like, I would see all these things, you know, and this was a long time ago, you know, I'm not the same way anymore, but... I would see all these things in Walmart, you know, all the things I could buy for my car, you know, all these different items, you know, and I would just, as soon as I get paid, I'd just buy the items and never would have any money, even though, you know, it was just bad, you know, it was, it's not a, excuse me, you know. It's just a bad situation. It's a bad to not be frugal, you know, or minimalist. You know, more Americans should try to be minimalist and just more or less what you need. Like, oh, I don't need this or I want to upgrade. You know, I don't want to upgrade that. Like, people are always trying to upgrade their cell phones. Like, you don't need a new cell phone, you know. In a few years from now, it's going to be less than half the price, you know. Future now it's gonna be way less. It's gonna be cheap, super cheap. You know, all these tablets and stuff now you can get them at Walmart for fifty bucks, eighty bucks. You know, super cheap. And uh, before they weren't like that. I bought my first Razer phone. You know, for three hundred dollars for a Razer phone. You know. And, you know, I, did, I didn't do it just for myself. You know, I had a girlfriend. She wanted me to get a phone. So, you know, even then, you know, because I've already kind of known. And when I got my first, uh, when I got my first Android phone, which is what I really wanted, one of those, when that first came out, uh, you know, I... I waited, you know, I didn't just go and get it right away. I waited till it came down in price, you know, so I could start doing my first YouTube videos. I already knew I wanted to do YouTube a long time ago, before 2014. This channel was like since 2014. But um, I started doing this channel 2014, but I had my old channel, I started doing it in like 2009, 2010, 2009. And YouTube, YouTube's only like since 2004, dude. If my old channel was combined with this channel, I would already be like a big YouTuber, you know what I'm saying? Because how long I've been in the game, just for my, just for being a big, just for being a veteran, you know, I would have a lot of views. Because the longer your video, the longer most of your videos are out there, in the past, it would be like, they get more views, which is still kind of true, but it's so crowded now. It's so cluttered with people. And videos just like floating, just floating out there most of the time. But, uh, hold on. 
I got bad allergies still on. Uh, it was a lot worse. I couldn't taste. Yesterday. Yesterday I could taste, but not that good. Like, I had that pizza and stuff yesterday, and I couldn't. I still couldn't taste that good. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, yeah, this is all I have left for the, for the month. Look. Broke. You see what I'm saying? That's all I have. And, uh, you know, most Americans, I think it's 44%. In order to get four hundred dollars, have to bond, pawn, or get a loan, or go borrow money, or do something to get four hundred bucks. Forty percent, and uh, you know, my word to the public is trying to save money. You know, since you don't know when you're gonna need it. You know, like one thing's different. Like I'm not gonna blame somebody for like. Let's say you're not going to get paid next month, right? Well, circumstances always change. Like, let's say you have saved some money up, right? And next month, you you know, you already lost your job and everything. You saved money up. So, I could say, you know, don't pay it on your rent because, you know, you're just going to, you know, prolong the inevitable. <laughs> And you have to go somewhere else or do something else different. You're, you know, the inevitable is coming. You're just trying to prolong it. Like the month after that, you have to scrounge again. That that whole scrounging technique is not going to work every month. So the only way I would suggest that you do pay the next month of rent is if you get a, uh, another job, you know, it buys you time. If you're going to buy yourself some time, okay. You know, it's fine. Buy yourself some time to get another job to do something where the money will come in consistently. You know? But, you know, if not, you're just going to keep scrounging and doing loans. That's only going to go so far. You know, you're going to end up on the streets or some another situation in your car. You know, um, until you can get Either a cheaper place or a higher flow of income. Or a flow. Because like I said, most Americans only have like one flow of income. Mostly one or two. You know, my suggestion is most people actually do have one, just their job. And if they're retired, they usually have, sometimes they get their retirement and they have another job too. So, another suggestion is try to get more incomes, like more multiple streams. Like, you know, you know, you get more income online, you know, do stuff like, there's a lot of different ways to make streams of income that, my big, one of my biggest things is you need to make income streams that are passive, residual income streams, or royalty. If you're getting those kind of income streams, those are the best because no matter what, they're going to keep coming back to you. So you do something one or two times, they come back to you. You know, YouTube is one of those things. Um, KDP.com, Amazon, book, KDP.Amazon.com, the ebooks. That's just two. And then there's countless things. Another one I just got into like last year is the merch. Redbubble.com forward slash people forward slash YouTube Jared. I gave it a shout out at the beginning of this video. They are passive. And it's only one of the only merch that is passive. Because, um, because when you put in that website some merch and you give it description, you give it tags, it goes out to the web. A lot of other merch you have to always, you know, yourself to, uh, you have to uh, promote yourself. But the website will promote for you a lot because, you know, it puts it out there depending on the tags and stuff that you put on the merch. So, 
Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Like, subscribe, and share. Check out the merch. Link in the description. Like I said, it's redbubble.com forward slash people forward slash YouTube gear. Peace out.